Thief! Thief! Magi! Catch that little good for nothing! Hurry! Every swell. The farther you run, the worse it will go between us! Huh? <laughs> A Magi should be quicker than you! How can the child so small run so fast? to get rid of these bandits. Sure did. I'm extremely smart. Everyone says so. How did a smart boy like you get tricked into working for bandits? I don't work for them. This mean old lady locked up a bunch of us kids. She makes us steal for her. Locked up? Yeah. My sister was going to save us. And she said to meet her in the shipyard by the river. But she never came. Will you look for her? I'll steal you an apple. <laughs> hey, you don't need to buy my help. It is yours for free. What is your sister's name? Kawit. And mine's Ifri. If you find Kawit, tell her I'm mad at her. That ship will not sail anytime soon. They kept the children caged. An oil seller. He may have seen Kawit. There's the mast from the burnt ship. Colorful sail. Unusual. The ship was dry docked when it caught fire. Traces of oil. Hmm. Keep your distance, or I'll break your face. Easy now. Did you see a young girl around the shipyard yesterday? I see lots of girls. Most not worth looking at twice. They would likely say the same of you. If it is information you want, you have just tripled its price. I'd rather throw my coin pouch in the river. Back off, there I must tell be you. another way to make him talk. I will tell you about the girl. Just do not break anything else. By the limbs of Osiris, you are a cruel man! What happened with the girl? I looked at her twice. The second time, she was stealing my biggest jar of oil. She vanished like a demon in daylight. When I came back, the ruffians were destroying my stock! Made a lot of you sink to the bottom of the Nile. I think I understand what happened here. Gawit stole an oil jar from that oaf of a merchant, and hid until nightfall. Under cover of darkness, she spread oil on the ship and set it aflame. The blaze spread to the whole vessel. While the ship burned, Gawit freed the children held on the docks, but the bandits must have caught her. Whoever owns this ship was responsible for the kidnappings. child. Your brother sent me here. Where is Kawit? They took her and everyone else to a house in the city. Some rich lady named Gaia owns it. It's by the temple of Hathor. Will you save my family? 
By the mother goddess, I will. Hey, what? Hang on. Going to kill you. How did the guard carry this key? He must have knocked something important. Live forever. Did Nessem knew? No, young Ifri did. Where is he? What do you mean? I followed you the whole way. Take Matia home. Go. <laughs> Why don't you go with them? I'm going to track down that Roman bitch who did this to my family. <laughs> if you want to help me kill her, meet me at the house of Neff. Ugly to kill in front of the little ones. What happened here? <laughs> Who was he? Neff. The children called him father. This is his house. This is his house. You are injured. I don't give a shit. The Roman hag who did this leaves by boat for Alexandria today. Help me feed her to the crocodiles one piece at a time. I can go alone. No need for you to bloody yourself, father. It has to be me! Is your need worth leaving the children unprotected? Destroy her name, Bayek of Siwa. I need to move quickly, or this monster will flee Memphis. Gawit has a vengeance now. I hope it quiets her heart. Why do you weep? Your curse is lifted. You have lost a child, so you should understand that a mother's fear never ends. Nor does a father's rage. Fear and rage are fair replies to life's fragility. Please, leave me to my tears. Neb, if you will follow me, we must give her privacy. Is there anything I can do to ease her? Mm. She has found a ritual protection in an ancient scroll. Only a few ingredients remain to be... I'll find them. Wait, Neb. An impatient soul is a troubled one. My lady needs parts from fresh-killed sacred birds. And would you kindly bring a fertility talisman in blue faience? There is a shop south of the temple basin where such items may be found. I will meet you on the road to the pyramids afterwards. May you prosper. Abandoned tomb. The maidservant said there was a shop here. Strange place for a shop. Well, no. Welcome to my humble shop. 
A Magi? How... Surprise. I have not seen your kind in some time, Magi. We are a rare breed. As are merchants who set up shop in a tomb. My customers appreciate privacy. They do not seem to appreciate variety. My customers know I can provide what they seek. I hope you can do the same for me. May I have a look around? But of course. I'll leave you to browse. Excuse me, but I have some business to attend to. I'll be back soon. And in the second chamber lie the worldly goods of our Apollo and Shesh. To protect them and provide them sustenance. And the message is incomplete. I wonder what the rest of it says. Hmm. Nothing of value in this room. Why would the merchant sell such cheap goods here? Ah, uh, she is hiding something. An inventory. A talisman in blue faience is listed here. I should keep looking around. The merchant did not want me to see this part of the shop. These goods must be stolen. A fertility talisman. Tamhotep will be pleased. No! You have browsed long enough, Medja. <laughs> You're scaring our found what you need, Tamhotep. The seer spoke truth when he named you Deliverer. My ritual must be performed in the moon shadow at the base of the pyramid of Josa. Will you guard me and my maid until it is done? There may be dangers on the road as well. Gladly. Then let us ride to the pyramid and wait until the night unfurls in splendor. This is uncertain country. Why not bring more guards? My ritual must remain private. Is that also why we travel off the main road? Yes, it is less safe but more secret. The lack of a son lowers my husband in the esteem of the people. And if they knew of the babes I have lost, his ability to compel the gods would be called into question. There are whispers against him already. My troubles bring shame to him and to me. Nebet, it is not your fault. Hush, Mara. I know you mean to be kind, but the scrolls are clear. The woman is the carrier of the child's sex. I do not believe that, Nebet. Oh, Mara, we have had this conversation before. Let us be quiet now, in case our voices carry to unfriendly ears. Good idea.
We are here. My sword stands between your ritual and any who threaten it. The Taz blessing on you. Every morning of my childhood, my father and I spoke the prayer of the Medjai, a promise to those in need. I am a Medjai. I am a feather in the eagle's wing, a living dagger plunged from the sky into the heart of chaos. I am a truth unknown, a scabbard unfilled, a son of the Nile, and a defender of the people. You cannot kill me. For I walk among the dead. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. My son should have learned this prayer from me. Don't shoot. Leave. Hello, friend. Bread for your sweetheart? No, thank you. Why do you speak a curse under your breath? The magician who sold it to me said I must recite it 200 times a day. Since I cannot recite while I sleep, I do it while I work. Though it is hard to get any baking done without my taster. What happened to your taster? Gods blast the regime. They arrested him for not paying the tax on spices. And now I am out of cinnamon. Looks like you need more than a magician. Regime presses even a poor baker so hard. Helping her would be a strike against Ptolemy, however small. Yeah, that smells delicious. Suit your suit! Teta, the baker asked me to bring you to her. My beautiful Teta. Now I can see her face again before I die. I am weak with hunger and with love. Will you carry me to Teta? If I must. Can you walk? I am too weak even to stand. Really? My strength comes from the beautiful Teta. Does she know you feel this way about her? I have not yet been brave enough to confess my love for her. Also, I am a wanted man. I can see uh. that. You did not pay your taxes. It has nothing to do with taxes. Teta! You brought back my taster! Oh, I should not be talking to you. I have baking to do. This man has something to tell you. Well? Teta, I love you. What? And I uncovered a plot to poison the Lady Timehotep, beloved of the High Priest. What? What? Lady Timehotep loves our cakes and bread. For five years we have delivered them to the Great Temple. But yesterday, I overheard the guard say that this week's cakes had been poisoned. Have they been delivered? I... I don't know. Uh, they'd be in the garrison if not. Then I will have to move quickly. This... this is all too much for me. Would you like to sit down? No, I need to think. Of course, love. <clears throat> 
Basket of cakes. I got here in time. Now to make sure they will not poison anyone. Wait a minute. Lively. to be destroyed too. I should check to see if there are any others. There you are! That is the last of the cakes. Damhotep is safe now. Over here! Please, I am... The gods are smiling. You are a true hero. Keep quiet. Head down. What? Freedom! You recover quick. Now, how about we loot some tombs? Have I helped another criminal of Egypt? Oh, that is right. You are a Medjai. No, not a criminal. I'm an opportunist. Uh, I know your kind. What did you dig up this time? It sure caught the eyes of those bandits. A ring of unparalleled riches. As you can see, everyone wants it. Those bandits dragged me around trying to find it. Me? I just want what it is worth. You think I enjoy being a scavenger? Yes. Hmm. Come, follow me to my palace. My safety is your duty, is it not? You saw how dangerous it is out here? Uh, I suppose. Yes! My very own Medjai! What a treat! I thought you were all buried beneath the sands of time! Not all. You should join us! We could use a strong warrior like yourself. To get you out of all the trouble you get yourself into. Yes, it is hard out here for us, you know. Bandits are always up our asses. Then you should trade this ring and be done with it. I know, but Giza has so much wonder and mystery. You just have to look hard enough. And the rewards, oh, the rewards! Nepti! My seni! Ah, why didn't you come searching for me? I was locked in a cell for days. Necked, where's the ring? Okay, calm down. Rashidi has it. Who is this? This is my brother. Gonna help us find the ring. Are you serious? Okay, yeah. Why not? I've got time. Ha! Luck is always on your side. Isn't it over? If it was, I'd have my ring. Our ring. Yes, yes. That ring is worth millions of drachmas. Cleopatra would lay you if you gave it to her. We should check for our other brothers. They have the ring. There are bandits all around here. I'll stop there. Rashidu went south. Likely ran into those bandits camped by the Sphinx. The fool. Rashidi is in danger. I have to get him out of that bandit camp. I do to deserve it. Rashidi? Huh? You know my name. I'm here to get you out. This ring you have found is certainly sought after. You know about the ring? Oba and Nepti said you might be in trouble. I think you would all be better off giving up this life, hmm? We could, if we had the ring. Wait. You mean you don't have it? Turo punched me straight in the face and took off to the Hemon tombs to trade it. Uh, who is Turo? 
A brother? Ah, of course. I will go make sure he is all right. Go back to your brothers. You'll be safer with them. <laughs> Hardly. I wonder what tale Turo will tell me. What's this? Ah. His hand was eaten. The hyena must have swallowed the ring too. Ah, this is absurd. Nebti and Rashidi were looking for. Time to put an end to this. I have bad news. You lost the ring? You lost the ring? You lost the ring? Turo is dead. Oh, tragic. And the ring? Yes. Quite unfortunate. And what of the ring? Did you find it? I found it. Did you not hear me? About Turo. This mess is their fault. Give it to me. My... I should be on my way now, brothers. Are you not sad? Your friends have died. In Giza, a friend dies every day. Where is it? Net! The ring! <laughs> 